Welcome to another episode of the Ask Animated Show. My name is Edmund. I'm Jennifer. I'm Cindy. And for today's topic, we are going to talk about how to keep full control of your assets even when you're gone. So for example, if you own a home, if you own um, money on, in, in your bank account, retirement account, how do you make sure that the, the house and your other assets go to your children or your spouse in the order that you want it to? So, Cindy, would you like us to start up? Yeah, so one of the first uh, main things uh, when you have a trust, um, you can absolutely control your assets when you're gone is by naming the person that you want to manage your assets uh, upon your passing. So instead of your assets just going through probate and the court appointing a personal representative to manage your assets for you, you can use the trust to name a trustee who you trust uh, to manage that your assets for you on behalf of your beneficiaries. Yeah, and then another thing that you can control is uh, the distribution. So not only can you control you know, who's going to inherit your assets, but you can also control the timing of their inheritance. So a lot of times you know, our clients are concerned, maybe they have younger children or they feel like their children you know, might not be ready to inherit such a bulk uh, amount of their assets. Uh, and so they can stagger um, the distribution by age, by certain situations that may have occurred in uh, their lifetime and so the trustee that you name would continue to manage uh, your assets and distribute according to the schedule that uh, you control and you customize in the trust. Another way that you can control your assets in a living trust is by limiting the type of assets or the amount of assets that your spouse can um, access. So for example, you can limit your spouse to uh, your to their 50% of the community property and limit them from reaching your separate property as well. Uh, and those properties and those assets would be preserved for your beneficiaries. So sometimes, you know, we have clients come in and they say, hey, you know, if I pass away first, um, I'm afraid that my husband or my wife might remarry and you know, what'll happen to my half. And so what Cindy was mentioning, you know, gives you that control to protect your half, protect your separate assets, make sure they go to your designated beneficiaries um, and not uh, changed by your surviving spouse. Yeah, so with the living trust, you can have as much control as you want. Um, you can add as many details and instructions as, as, as you would like. Um, so talk to your estate planning attorney uh, tell them all your wishes, tell them all your concerns, and they'll be able to uh, craft a living trust and an estate plan that will uh, you know, help you make sure that those wishes are honored if, if something ever happens to you. All right, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, if you have any other estate planning related questions, leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer them for you on the next show. See you next time.